Hello and welcome again to another video series around the Identity Manager from Studio Berlin. Today we will talk about what's new in the Identity Manager. We will start the video series with the new 8.2 release. And you may know 8.2 is released since a couple of weeks. And now it's time to talk all or several new features of the product. When I last time talked about new features in the Identity Manager, you may remember I talked about a lot for the 8.1 version. And the same thing will happen with 8.2. There are 99 pages of our release notes, which means there are hundreds of new features in the 8.2 release. You might ask why we have not made a major release out of that. Maybe because customers and partners typically dislike major releases, I have no clue. But at the end, 8.2 comes with a lot of features. And what I can tell you out of my own experience, it was not too hard to migrate 8.2. That means to update my 8.1 demo environment. This is not really a sign for your update project, but at the end it looks like that the update is not too complicated. However, what we will talk about is the following. First of all, we will talk about prerequisites. And after the prerequisites, we will talk about the new standard web front and ship with the 8.2. You know, there is a new Angular web front. We will talk about it and we will show some demo. Then after this is done, we will talk about business behavior changes. These are changes in the IT shop, attestation, compliance, all of these business features. And then we will talk about system connectors and connector changes. Last but not least, we will talk about technical developer enhancements and we'll talk about security enhancements, which is always a good idea in a security software. With that, just let's start with the first task. And we are starting with prerequisites and deployment. And on our first page, uh, we should talk about the SQL Server first. As you can see, SQL Server 2016 is not longer supported. You can now use SQL Server 2017 or 2019, always the latest CU just to work with. Uh, the database level is 140 for all who wants to configure, for example, the database on a 2019 server. What is not supported anymore, and that was the case as well in 8.1, by the way, is Oracle. Oracle databases are for the Identity Manager installation not available anymore. Additionally to that, you can see that Windows Server 2022 is supported uh, for our services. And you can as well install the client tools, that means manager and designer and all of these tools, on a Windows 11 workstation if you like to. Together with uh, making all the things available as well on Windows 2011 and such, uh, we used a new tool called Electron to build our setup set tool. That means uh, to display our setup set tool. This specific tool uh, is very nice because it works pretty well. But what is necessary is that you need here a prerequisite which is called Microsoft Edge Web View 2. This has, from an installation perspective, nothing to do with Microsoft Edge. So that means you can use that without a Microsoft Edge installation if you like to. Um, but this tool is necessary so that our setup tool works well. Um, if it's not installed, then the setup tool will prompt you. You can see that on the right side. Um, and you can let the setup tool install the prerequisites. Uh, if this is not possible, just go to the internet, uh, download Microsoft Edge Web View 2 and install it. It's more or less a default installation. Click, click, and yes, and such and such. And then at the end, you are able to run your setup set tool as expected. From a Docker container perspective, uh, we support Docker containers as well with Identity Manager 8.2, of course. Um, there is a new tag for 8.2 so that it's easier for you to select the right Docker container if you like to. We support only LTS versions of server for Docker containers. Please remember that uh, 2016 is possible, 2019 is possible, and 22, of course, is possible. We talked about it. And it is important that you always have a look at the latest tag point. 
Nevertheless, all of these new Docker containers for 8.2 uses .NET Framework 4.8. And because we know that on Linux, there is no .NET Framework, or let me say it that way, not that type integrated, uh, then you need it for our tools. You need an installation of Mono 6.1.2. Nevertheless, if you work with Docker containers, I know it's pretty easy, yeah, Docker create and such. Nevertheless, please have always a look at the latest release notes to the containers. Sometimes there is very helpful information written there and uh, the last best known tips and tricks so that you don't run into issues. Left is, if we look into that, to talk about discontinued and end of life features. Just the difference discontinued means it is part of 8.2 but it will not be part of the next version. So that means we will remove it. This is discontinued. Um, end of life is it already did not exist anymore in the Identity Manager 8.2 installation. So start with the left side, discontinued features. In 8.2 available, but not in the next versions, is the SPML web service and the SOAP-based web service. And of course, Exchange and SharePoint connectors in version 2010 that will be removed in one of the next versions. End of life, that means already not available anymore, is the password and answer question stuff that was implemented in the identity manager. Not a problem at all in this case, especially because it was fully and much better replaced by the password reset portal we implemented. Last but not least, we have configuration parameters uh, just in connection with these, and that is QER person use central password permanent store, this is as well removed, but you don't need it anymore. You have the password reset portal now. 